Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is now June 7th, 2018. It is about 9.30 at night. Uh, recording this one a little later than I like to, as I've said before. I like to try to get these out of the way in the morning. But it's uh, it's been a rather busy day for us, so uh, we're finally getting around to doing this now. And since I put out another short video this morning, uh, one I recorded yesterday of me testing out the ultralight and when I mean ultra when I say ultralight I mean 25 grams uh camping stove that my uh my friend Lori uh lent me for this uh escapade of mine and I luckily did not blow myself up so I uh, I put that one out earlier today and uh well we've been kind of busy so like I said that's why we're finally getting to this now since uh since I left you last guys uh as far as the vlog goes that was yesterday morning you know, had had the bad day the day before and then tried to start off the day yesterday at a better foot and murder dog were up and it was beautiful out. And then, of course, the weather turned to crap afterwards. Uh, lucky us. Uh, it, it didn't really end up raining, thankfully, but it was cold and windy and cloudy and whatnot and just not conducive for things like using the solar, you know, te finally testing out the solar charger or attempting to get a solar shower or doing yoga or anything like that. But so yesterday, after uh, after we recorded the vlog, we ended up, I had a bunch of errands to run, final bills to pay and stuff like that. You know, the final electric bill was due, the final oil bill was due. So uh, I ran around and, and did that. And then I drove around a bit and found a couple of different locations to uh, for Wi-Fi to upload and stuff like that. And uh, then we ended up, I'm trying to think, yeah, that was pretty much it yesterday. It wasn't really... Uh, Really that crazy of a day. Oh, like I said, just busy with uh, errands and whatnot. Uh, and then, oh, that's right. We did record, you know, the video that I put out earlier, the camping video, uh, the, the camping stove video. And then Murder Dog and I actually recorded another video, which uh, will probably come out tomorrow, where we stopped by uh, another local park just to use the dog park for a little bit. And there was nobody there. And I was just trying to get a little video with Murder Dog walking around because so many people keep asking about Murder Dog and asking for pictures and video of her and stuff. And then some rude individual interrupted our video, but, you know, me being me, I didn't stop recording, and I recorded my interaction with this asshole. Um, so that should be interesting. You guys will see that tomorrow. And then we kind of uh, made it a relatively early night and came down to the, back to the marina around like 10 p.m. and set up shop there. And, uh, yeah, that's where we stayed for the rest of the night. I actually did some reading last night. I, I kept saying I was going to do a lot more reading while I was out here in order to save, you know, electricity and uh, gas and not run the car to use the laptop all the time. Although when I said that, I didn't realize that my laptop battery was so shot that I had to run it all the time off the, off the, off the power cord. Otherwise, it dies within 20 minutes. Hopefully, that will be rectified tomorrow as I do have a replacement battery on its way and is supposed, supposedly going to be delivered to an Amazon locker nearby that I should hopefully be able to pick up tomorrow, and then we'll have less of these issues. Um, but I finally got around to reading, and I opened up my Kindle. I, I did bring a bunch of... I actually have a stack of the Austrian, the uh, the little ma mini magazine that I, I think the Mises Institute puts out, um, but I haven't actually gotten around to reading any of those, so I have a stack of those. I also have a, a cover, an actual physical copy of The Moon is a Horse Mi Mistress, which I have never actually completed. I've read excerpts of it over the years, and I've never actually gotten around to reading it. I have a copy, and it was sitting on my nightstand forever, and I decided to bring that with me to finally get around to reading it. But I also brought my Kindle, and I have a ton of books on my Kindle that have just been sitting there for years that I've been collecting. And every time somebody, like a friend's book comes out or a book I'm really interested, they just get added onto there. And because I just never find the time, I never got around to reading them. Uh, I did have a bunch of books lined up in the queue that I was supposed to get to first, but my friend Shane Radliff, who I mention quite a lot on here because he's uh, helped me out a lot with this, with his Vanu podcast and, uh, you know, just spitballing ideas back and forth with him over the past uh, few months about this whole idea, uh, this whole project. Uh, he actually just recently put out a book that uh, through his publications uh, or his publication, uh, Liberty Under Attack uh, Publications, I think that's the name of it. If it's not, I'm sorry, Shane, I forget. I forget the official name of it. But uh, yeah, the little publication company he's running where he's now actually I know he's finishing up his first his own first book now, but they put out a lot of stuff that things that are out of print. 
uh, you know, that they've stumbled across over the years that uh, they think are, are worthy of being out there. They've actually reprinted, you know, made new printings of these books and um, or just like uh, stuff they've stumbled across that was no other place. And they actually put it out there. The latest one being hashtag Agora, which uh, I think he just put out. I don't think it was that long ago that they actually finally put it out there, but I do have a copy of that, and I started reading that last night, and I'm already about a third of the way through. Really great little novella. Uh, I would highly encourage people to go checking that out. That is, it, the title is hashtag, you know, the, the, the pound sign, uh, Agora. Um, really cool little novel. So, uh, yeah, that's what, we did. that's what we did last night, and then uh, finally ended up passing out. Got my normal five or six hours of sleep that I seem to be getting out here, and uh, or actually no, I think we got a little bit later. Cause, yeah, almost seven hours because I didn't wake up until about seven o'clock, which was nice. But as soon as we woke up, it was cold, windy, and uh, very cloudy, and uh, looked like it was going to rain. Luckily, the rain seemed to hold off for most of the day, and eventually it got nicer. But that's how we started our day. So right away, didn't get to get to the yoga as I wanted to. We, Murder Dog and I, did shift over to the dog park first thing in the morning, which is becoming our routine here, and hung out there for a little while. Wasn't, you know, too many people. It's a Thursday morning, not too many people there that early. And just the uh, regulars, I guess, that come all the time at six o'clock, at six, six uh, between six and seven in the morning. And we hung out there for a little while. And then uh, I actually broke out the uh, lightweight camping stove and made myself some more food. Um, I actually made more of the soup that I made yesterday and I think I talked about this in one of the short videos I made and uh so if you know it, it, it'll come out eventually I know I didn't do it in the camping vid the camping stove video itself because I cut it off just before I was actually going to eat the food I did kind of screw up the first round uh, I was so busy uh, talking to the camera and trying to pay attention to what I was doing that uh, with the stove that I didn't read the directions on the food very well and uh, I was supposed to mix them. I was supposed to mix the soup and the water, to, the soup mix and the water together, and then boil it. I just boiled the water and then tried to mix it together. So all the dehydrated stuff didn't really rehydrate very well. Uh, take two this morning worked much better. I mixed them together, and the soup was was pretty tasty. So you know, once again, I'm dad. I'm glad my dad uh, bought me that all those years ago because now I'm finally putting it to use. And then uh, after that, uh, Murder Dog and I actually had a. Well, we had kind of a busy day. Uh, again, you know, a couple of errands I had to take care of today, too. One of which I wasn't, I originally wasn't going to, and I'm kind of glad I did because I was headed up north from our location down at the marina to eventually make my way up to Planet Fitness because to, today was going to be the day that I was finally going to purchase that membership and go get myself a nice hot shower again. And on my way there, I actually passed the, the insurance company that handled my homeowner's insurance and I had spoken to them uh, a couple of weeks ago and told them about the closing coming up and whatnot and asked if there was anything I needed to do and they said that you know just let them know once the closing happened and send them some paperwork and I was just I was so bothered with everything else I was dealing with I was kind of like well I, I have to set I have to do extra work like I know it to you it just seems simple just you know scan and email us stuff but I didn't get into the whole fact that I was going to be on the road and whatnot and all these things but I was just like really I wouldn't if I didn't do anything next month when you guys try to charge me, you'll just find out that there's nothing there, like not even not not the mortgage itself, like the mortgage will no longer be there. But also, like, there's no bank accounts in my name anymore because they closed them all down on me. And the woman said, well, yeah, technically that we would, you know, we'd find out that way, but just as a courtesy. So I had that in the back of my mind. So since I was passing, I decided to stop by and, you know, actually tell them, hey, listen, I brought the closing paperwork with me. I I've officially don't have the house anymore. And I'm glad I did because it turns out uh, I'm actually getting like a $600 refund, I think. <laughs> so that'll be nice. Um, you know, who knows when that'll actually get here because it's going to have to get sent to South Dakota event, uh, or eventually and then make its way out here finally uh, when I have it forwarded. So, you know, who knows, a couple weeks from now, I'll probably finally get that. Hopefully we'll see. Anyway, so that was kind of cool. Uh, you know, like I said, unexpected. And if I keep on the uh, schedule and the, the you know, the kind of watching the money that way I was hoping to, you know, my plan was to try to stay under $500 a month. And obviously this first month's going to be a little crazy because I'm, I'm buying some things that I didn't have before and, and stocking up on stuff. So I may spend a little extra, but that's kind of the goal to try to keep it around there. So, hey, 600 bucks, that's an extra month plus uh, out on the road. So good deal. Uh, after that, we finally made it all the way up to Planet Fitness. And I went in and spoke to the manager. Uh, the manager was on duty this time and talked about getting a membership. 
And then uh, I was reminded again that, yes, in fact, for some reason, Planet Fitness does not accept cash. They do not accept uh, credit cards or debit cards for their membership plans. The only way you can sign up with them is through a bank account directly so that the money actually gets taken directly out of the account versus getting taken out of the card, which is still attached to the account. So you'd think that would be easy enough. Uh, I was discussing this with my friend Lori earlier, and I think the only thing I can come up with is it's got to be the processing fees. They just don't want to deal with that. But So that's the only uh, way they, they, they handle that. Now, I do have... Uh, I may or may not be in possession of a debit card <laughs> that I can use, that I've been authorized to use. Don't worry, I didn't steal it. Um, but I, I don't have a checking account, obviously. So I had to message the wife and say, hey, I kind of need your account number so I can try to set this up. And unfortunately, she was busy with the kids down in uh, North Carolina, you know, which we've talked about. I'm still not very happy about it, but they're there. Um, and unfortunately, she didn't get back to me in time because uh, at that point, it started to warm up. When I first got there, it was still windy and cool enough that I, I felt secure leaving Murder Dog in the car for like 15 minutes if I could run in and take a shower. Um, you know, without having to keep the car running or anything because it was, it was more than cool, uh, more than cool enough for her in the car. And, uh, you know, as long as I put my little blankets up in a couple of places, nobody will even know that she's in there. So I won't have to worry about people like freaking out if they think it's too hot, even though I know for a fact it's definitely not too hot for my dog. Um, cause like I said, it was, you know, 55 degrees or 60 maybe and windy. So, um, so I was hoping to get it done then. Unfortunately, the wife was busy, so she didn't get back to me and, uh, we had to move on. And uh, I told them that I would come back later on or, you know, maybe tomorrow at this point, who knows, to finally get that membership because now I have the information and can finally sign up. But I didn't want to dawdle too long because I actually had a interview scheduled today at 3 o'clock for my show, Abolitionist Abstractions, which I still have to put out. They Those usually come out on Thursdays. Uh, as I said, this is June 7th, uh, Thursday that I'm recording this. And... I still haven't gotten to that episode yet to edit it and put it up. Probably won't go out till tomorrow now. But, uh, but yeah, so I, I actually had set up an interview and because uh, I did say I, I was going to try my best to not have to halt all my shows while I was out here and hopefully try to find some good Wi-Fi. And I had an interview scheduled with Anthony Samaroff from the Scottish Liberty Podcast, uh, also the author of the book Procrastination Annihilation. Uh, if you don't know about Anthony, you should. He's a great guy. Um, we had him on the Seeds of Liberty about a month or so ago. It was uh, just sh just uh, Shane Buell and I were there that night, and we talked to Anthony, and we had a great conversation. Uh, I was actually supposed to meet up with Anthony when he Anthony sorry when he came to New York a month or so uh, back in eight, I guess at the end of April maybe. And, uh, you know, it was just coincidence that he happened to be coming to New York and we had just gotten to, you know, starting to get, get to know each other and stuff. And it was like, great, you know, we can meet up and we can hang out. And I was actually I had actually offered to pick him up from the airport. And unfortunately, that's way back when all the crap happened with my bank and they closed all my accounts out and shut me out of my credit card. So I had like no money and there was just no way I could justify spending what little cash we had on us to go drive upstate a little bit and go hang out with this Scottish guy who I'd never met before. Um, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. And uh, well, we've stayed in touch since then. And I talked to him about doing a show again, and we were trying to schedule something. And we, you know, we scheduled something for today. And I had said, you know, I'll do my best to try to get good internet. So, you know, since, like I said, I had been at Planet Fitness and I was running a little close to the time that we had scheduled, I figured I would go to find that spot. And one of the places I knew that I had found the best internet uh, that I could, you know, park in the parking lot during the day and not be bothered by anybody was, uh, was the library up in Plainview. New York, which is uh, closer to the North Shore, uh, not all the way on the North Shore, but you know, cl a lot closer to the North Shore from where I am, all the way down to the South Shore. So a little bit ways up north, and uh, I had parked there a couple of times and gotten pretty good Wi-Fi from the parking lot to you know so much so that I was able to upload a couple of videos without much issue. So I knew that I was already like headed in that direction anyway. So I figured, all right, that's where I'll go, and you know, I should be able to pick up decent enough Wi-Fi to run a Skype call with Anthony. Also, I needed to get there a little early because I wanted to make sure that I could record with Skype because I had all these wacky issues since the last Windows update. And by the way, once again, fuck you, Bill Gates. Fuck you, Microsoft. And thanks a lot, Trump. Um, yeah, man, they screwed me with this one. It, I've already talked about the fact that I now have to reboot. I have, I have to start in order to be able to record these videos. I actually have to start up the computer, get it, uh, get it, you know, get it, get it running, and then 
in a, a uh, disable and then re-enable the camera and then st- and then restart it in order to work because there's some bug that happened with a bunch of drivers. I mean, it, it, it messed up my mining rig. It's messed up other people's, I know, microphones. Um, it's just a big pain in the ass. So I had to make sure I, got, I could get that all taken care of. So I got up there a little early and started messing around with that. And since I still had about an hour to kill before Anthony was scheduled to uh, join the call... I decided, you know what, let me take a walk inside and see what's going on in here. So I walked inside the library, and I found a meeting room that was not being used. And uh, it was all dark, and there was no sign, you know, there was a, the, no note outside when it was going to be used next. So I figured, you know what, I'll take a chance, and I'll go ask. So I went to the front desk, and I asked, you know, listen, I, I have something I need to do. Um, and, uh, you know, I see you have these quiet rooms back here in the corner, but I may be a little louder than the quiet room would, uh, you know, require. Um, but I do see you have a meeting room out front, and it doesn't seem to be in use. And if nobody's going to be using it for a while, you know, would I be able to sit in there for a little bit? And, uh, you know, they, they passed me through a couple of different people. I had to go through you know, to this department and then, oh, no, no, go over to this department. And uh, the last woman I spoke to ended up saying, you know what? Yeah, we don't have anything scheduled till a little later today. So uh, what if I give it to you until about 345? And at this point, it was like 215. And I was like, wow, you, hour and a half? Great. Uh, I tried to get Anthony and see if he could record a little early. Unfortunately, he couldn't, but, you know, whatever. I was like, great, this, you know, I now I have some place to sit. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have a long enough Ethernet cable with me. I thought I had brought a 50-footer with me. Apparently, I only brought, like, a 10-footer. So I still had to run off Wi-Fi, but I was inside the building, which meant I was getting pretty much a perfect signal. So that was that was huge. And I was also obviously able to plug my laptop in and not have to worry about running the car Although I did end up running the car because, like I said, I, you know, because it was going to take so long with the Planet Fitness thing earlier and it started to get a little warmer and it was getting to the point where I didn't really want to leave Cameron in the car, um, I, without it running, well, I left the car running. And luckily, the just spot I happened to park in when I pulled into the library was in direct line of sight from the, from the, uh, of one of the windows of the, the meeting room that I ended up actually borrowing. And, so I just left the car running with the AC on for her. So she was perfectly fine in the vehicle. And uh, I was able to keep an eye on her pretty much the whole time. And yeah, like I said, unfortunately, Anthony wasn't able to join me early. So we had to kind of rush through the podcast a little bit. But it was great to talk to him again. And I was successfully able to do a podcast. Now, unfortunately, I was actually, you know, I normally do audio only podcasts. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing this video, this, these vlogs now, which is uh, kind of a new thing for me. You know, back in the day, we used to do video for the Seeds of Liberty. But ever since we switched over to Fiend Phone and I focus more on uh, good quality audio, we've kind of scrapped the video. But since I was talking to Anthony and I knew we were going to be using Skype, I was actually going to put up a video conversation with us. But S- Skype will just not recognize my webcam now whatsoever, even after I do the trick with rebooting it and whatnot. Um, so whatever we still recorded uh had a great little conversation did have to cut it short because like i said i was only i had been given the room until 3 45 so at 3 40 ish we had to cut the show short and started wrapping up um but that was great you know i was i successfully recorded a podcast while technically on i mean I, I was borrowing a room in a library but out being out on the road and not really knowing where i'm going to set up to do my podcast and stuff i was able to success, successfully do it so, like I said, uh, that that was a great one. It was a lot of fun, and that will be out to uh, should be out tomorrow. Uh, then after that, actually, as I was just getting wrapping up uh, with that, and then was stick was hanging around the library parking lot, like uh, you know, after I was done, I went out and shut off the car, obviously, and then the Murder Dog and I went for a walk, uh, you know, ni- nice walk because it was uh, it was nice, you know, it was it was warmer, but there was a breeze going, so we went for a nice walk, and then when we got back to the car. I figured, hey, I'm still here in the parking lot. Let's try to upload. Uh, at least the, you know, the video from, from yesterday. So I, I went about doing that. And as, as I was doing that, I just happened to get a text from the, uh, my, my buddy Lori, who, uh, she's like, Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, getting off work early. And I was like, well, you know, I'm actually just about done doing what I'm doing up here. And, you know, maybe we can uh, hang out for a little while. And, you know, she, she was looking out for me, want, want, make, want to make sure I wasn't alone all day again. Uh, so that was cool. So I ended up driving all the way back down south to uh, to Wantua Park, where, you know, the marina is, where I like to stay. And uh, we hung out at the dog park for a little while so that uh, Murder Dog could get out and run around and stuff. And then we just sat and bullshitted again for a couple of hours, which was great. You know, I love talking to her. We had, a, we, had we had some fun, you know, good conversation and stuff. And uh, And then she took off. And now, you know, I, uh, 
recording a video. Oh, yeah. I used the camping stove again and uh, made myself some dinner. That's right. After, before we, we drove over to the bathroom so I could, so I could, go, so I could go take a leak. And uh, when I came back, I started setting up the computer and everything. And then I turned on the stove and made myself a little food, gave Murder Dog her dinner and her medication. And uh, now here we are. And uh, now, like I said, it's well. Now it's uh, about ten to ten right now. And once I de- get done recording this, I am going to take a drive and uh, go find one of those other local spots that I've picked up g- pretty good Wi-Fi from before, and attempt to upload this video so it actually gets up today. Because, uh, like I said, I'm I'm going to attempt to put up these vlogs daily. And uh, even though I technically put out a video earlier that wasn't one of my vlogs, that was one of the separate ones that I'm going to try to do more of as well. Uh, because as I, you know, as, as I mentioned before, a bunch of people have asked me for, you know, I know it gets a little boring watching me in the car here and just yakking, yakking, yakking. So I've tr- I'm trying to get more action stuff going on. So that's why I did the camp stove video yesterday. Uh, I did the little video at the dog park where I ran into that asshole. That, uh, like I said, that should be out tomorrow as well, too. Um, so there may actually be three things for me out tomorrow. There'll be a podcast, there will be uh, another short video, and then tomorrow's vlog, uh, if all goes well. Wow, busy, busy man I am. So, <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's my plan. I'm going to go do that, go, uh, go upload, and then uh, circle back down here because we are almost definitely going to stay here at the marina again tonight because, again, we've had so much fun here. It, other than the weather, which is just, it's really a bummer. I mean, unfortunately... The days that I've woken up and it's been beautiful, we've had so much other stuff going on that it I was just wasn't able to set up and do the yoga first and then do everything else like I would like to. And then it just always ends up getting cold and yucky or whatever. And then, like, today it was reverse. You woke up. It was horrible. There was no way I was getting out there doing yoga uh, in, in that weather. Uh, I mean, again, I, I've been in colder and what I've been in windier. But it's just, you know, for, first thing waking up, it's like, I'm not, I'm not getting out and you doing yoga and this stuff, man. I still got my sweatshirt on. It's cold. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. So, that other than that, uh, you know, it's been great here. And all, I also do want to check out the one thing. You know, we stumbled across last night, Murder Dog and I, during our last walk uh, down here at the marina. Uh, before I before I went back to the came back to the element, and read for a little bit, and passed out. Uh, was there's a there's a bathroom down there that I wasn't aware of that is actually pretty new, and it might have been left open by mistake by last night. But I seem to recall walking by it uh, the night before and kind of just like half noticing it and and seeing that it was unlocked as well. So I want to want to check to see if that was just a mistake or if they just regularly don't leave this one uh, locked at night because that's going to be super handy because I mean it's it's in you know short walking distance from where I park at the marina but I usually end up uh, I, it's actually in the path of where I take camera for the walk down there uh, at the end of the night or first thing in the morning if I can't make it all the way you know if she really has to go and we're not going to make it over to the door we're not going to I'm not going to be able to uh, move stuff around in the car and and uh, take all the blo- you know the blackout shades down and drive us over to the dog park really quick um so i pass it on on all of those walks and i could just you know if i if uh we're getting up and headed over the dog park i could just drive over there and park right pretty close to it and use it and it's pretty darn clean and it's heated so that's a huge bonus so if that thing's going to be open every night we may end up never leaving them i mean i joke with Lori earlier when we were hanging out that you know i just may i just may live here permanently and uh, as she told me, now I can actually tell people I have waterfront property. Uh, I'll try to get some more pictures of that tomorrow. I'll try to do a video from my phone. Uh, but, yeah, I parked right next to the water. <laughs> that, that's where I'm hanging out. So that, that's my property right now. Uh, very Sterner-esque of me, you know, my property. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the plan. That's how things are going. Uh, obviously, I'm still missing, missing my kids. And um, as I said yesterday, uh, despite being miffed at her, I, I actually do. I even told her that today. I'm like, you know, I'm still mad at you, but I can't help but miss you. Um, so I miss all of them, and I, I really wish they were here. But, again, Murder Drug and I are going to try to make the best of it. And, uh, yeah, so tomorrow's Friday. I got that one little bit of work that I've talked about. And hopefully the weather's a little better, and we'll try to shoot some more videos and stuff. And, you know, see what else we can get ourselves into. Um, you know? Let's see. What else was there? Oh, yeah. The two other things I did today. Uh, I did record uh, yet another video. There's a there's a there's a third video that probably won't come out till Saturday. And at the moment, I can't even remember what that one was about. But I did shoot I did shoot another outdoor one. Um, so that was fun. 
And also, I stopped at the, the uh, Dollar Tree earlier today. Uh, my intention was to go in there originally. I wanted, oh, I, I thought what I needed, uh, just what I needed was uh, gallon size uh, Ziploc bags because I started breaking into the uh, food storage container and using the food. And, you know, once, once you open the vacuum pack, they, it is resealable, but the seals don't seem to be the greatest on these things. So just so I wouldn't take any chances, I wanted to put, you know, once I tried to seal them up, I want to put them inside Ziploc bags just in case. And I thought I had more on me, but apparently I only had one. I have a bunch of sandwich bags, but only one Ziploc bag. So since I wanted to open something different today and not just have the soup again, I was like, okay, great. I'm near enough to the Dollar Tree. I'll just stop by there, pick it up. Well, I ended up spending like 15 bucks in there instead of just a dollar on the on the um, bags. But I did get a couple of things that uh, I'm hope, hopefully are going to come in pretty handy. Because it's so dark right now, I don't think I'm going to be able to really show it to you guys. But I will try to do that tomorrow with the uh, I'll do a, a video with the phone. But as I mentioned, I was, you know, one of the things I was going to try to do in here was try to figure out some way to get some shelving up so I could try to keep things up higher and have more room on the floor. And I ended up picking up a couple of like dollar, you know, dollar store, um, but little plastic baskets that, you know, were stackable type things. And I managed to hang one of them from one of the uh, oh shit handles <laughs> in the back of the vehicle on the passenger side because with uh, with a bunch of uh, zip ties because I one of the things I packed with me that I had in my garage was a giant, you know, like a tall bucket of uh, a whole crap load of zip ties. So I have those with me in case of emergencies and stuff. So I'm like, oh, perfect. Let's see if we can hang this stuff up. So I was able to successfully hang one of them directly off of the oh shit handle. And that now houses, what do we got in there? All of our plates and our cups and our silverware, you know, our plastic silverware and stuff. And um, basically like our, our little mini kitchen area, or at least part of it. And also some dish soap that I picked up for a dollar. And Lori, when you watch this, I know you're going to yell at me because you offered your little camping soap. Um, and I said no because I didn't think I was going to really need it. But I was, since I was at the dollar store, I'm like, ah, dollar, whatever, I'll buy it. So anyway, but yeah, so that's up there now. Now, if I can manage to find a bigger one or try to f hang some more of these, this will be even better because um, now we'll have even more room. Uh, I did also end up rearranging the car yet again. I managed to, because I had to go up in the car carrier to bring down another gallon of water that I had stored up there and grab, I think, oh, some paper towels, and I think there's one other thing I'm forgetting at the moment that I needed to grab up there. I was able to rearrange some stuff and actually take that dog ramp that I had shown the other day, and I was actually able to move that up to the car carrier. So now that is gone from the back. So as of right now, virtually the entire passenger side in the back is completely open. There's nothing up against the walls. There's only the five-gallon buckets directly behind the passenger seat and one of those lovely little blue uh, plastic bins I was talking about that I took the bag, which was a bigger bag that had held a lot of the kitchen type stuff, you know, a lot of the cooking type stuff, Cameron's food and a bunch of other things. I moved some of that stuff around, consolidated, uh, consolidated into different places, and the remaining stuff, which is now my straight-up cooking gear, the wonderful little camp stove that Lori gave me, the the canister of uh, propane is isobutane mix the jet fuel stuff um and my you know my bowls some of my extra large cups and you know my my big water jug my my coffee mug if i ever get around to making coffee and the food and the food that i have now opened and is in ziploc bags so right away we gained you know Again, we're working with a tiny amount of space to begin with, but we gained a heck of a lot more of it by me shifting stuff around. I also picked up at the dollar store a bunch of hangers, and uh, because the one picture I have that my buddy Shane had sent me of somebody else doing this out of the back of a Honda Element, I saw that they were using hangers to hang a lot of their clothes off of, again, one of the oh shit hang handles. So I used the oh shit handle behind my driver's door and hung up a bunch of all my sweatshirts, uh, whatever pairs of uh, long pants I have with me and uh, some of my sleeping gear and towels and now that ended up cutting out a lot of stuff that was stored in that big suitcase I have so now I'm able to actually compress the suitcase even further and I was able to stand it up and and tie it back down with it with a bungee cord so now that's so there's even more room back there on that side as well and you know as I mentioned I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of the suitcase uh, 
sometime in the near future once I get my hands on a duffel bag and can transfer all the clothes over to that because I, I think that'll actually be easier to store and move around and stuff like that than the giant bulky suitcase. So that's going to go hopefully soon. And also, I was talking about this with Lori before and I've been thinking about it. I'm probably going to end up ditching the cooler too, the electric cooler, uh, once my wife gets back, uh, just for now. When we start heading out west, I'm going to definitely want to have it with me because obviously we'll be driving a lot more, a lot more consistently, and that therefore the car will be running all the time. Therefore, I, you know, I'd like, I won't have a problem plugging in the cooler because the car is going to be running anyway. But for now, since really all I've been using it for is to keep some of my, you know, house. My, my delicious house, New York coffee, seltzer cold, and also like a couple of mayo packets I had for when I wanted to make tuna fish and stuff. And I had my bananas in there that I had picked up. I talked about eating, you know, peanut butter and banana sandwiches in the, in the morning. And I actually keep my bread in there because it stays fresher because the whole thing's sealed, whether it's on or off. You know, that's pretty much all I'm carrying in there right now. So, and I haven't been turning it on as much because there's really not that much stuff in there. So I'm thinking, yeah, we may just scrap this all together because as much as it's, you know, nice to have cold, you know, cold drinks and whatnot, I don't have a problem drinking warm water. And even my seltzer, I can drink warm. It's fine. So in, until I feel the need to start carrying around a lot more food that has to stay cold at all times, it just doesn't seem like uh, seem uh, like a good idea to keep it with me because it's just taking up space and I'm just plugging it in every once in a while. So, yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to ditch that once the wife gets back. And then uh, I'll put it back in the vehicle once we start heading westward, and then uh, I'm going to need it a lot more. So if I get that out of here, and then I also take the what should we call it, the pet ramp uh, from up the top in the carrier and ditch that for a little while too until Cameron starts showing signs that she's actually going to need it, we'll save even more space. So the paring down continues, and we've already you know like i said today we already made, I made a bunch more space in the back for murder dog now that she has where she can have at all times and there's even less for me to shift around at night in order for me to drop the driver's seat all the way back to sleep in and once i get the you know once i remove the cooler there'll be even less because the cooler sits right directly behind my seat so i'll probably only have to move like one thing and once i get rid of all that since i am now sleeping in the front seat and i for the foreseeable future i see myself sleeping in the front seat I'll probably be able to ditch the sleeping bag up top, too. Now, I will keep that in case the opportunity does arise to actually go camping. Uh, you know, like I said, Sunday after I finish my work, I'm going to try to head upstate pretty shortly after that to go hang out at my buddy Craig's place. And I, you know, probably end up setting my tent up there on, on his property. So I'm going to need it, you know, the stuff, you know, the sleeping bag and stuff like that. But it could be moved up with the rest of the camping gear up in the, up in the car carrier, which, again, will create even more space in here. I mean, not much. It's not a huge sleeping bag or anything, but... Every little bit counts when you're talking about the back of a Honda Element. So, you know, things are starting to shape up. I even managed to get the front organized. Again, it's going to be hard to see in the dark, so I'll show you guys tomorrow. But I showed you the big pile of mess I had in there when I did the video the other day. Although after watching it back, I realized I only took like a quick shot of the whole thing and then was lifted a little too high as I was talking for the rest of it. Um, but I actually pared down a bunch of that stuff. I took my backpack that had been filled with crap reorganized it so now it's a straight up shower bag and it's actually hanging off the back of the passenger seat so it's not on the front seat anymore one less thing i have to have there uh, which is good and now once i finally get around to getting this darn membership i mean i could go after i'm done here because they're open tonight you know they're open 24 7 during the week so i could go at any point tonight maybe i will i mean it's getting kind of close it's been a little over two days now since i've had a shower since the last time i showered was tuesday morning uh, late Tuesday morning, so yeah, we're already at like a two and a half days at this point. I mean, I'm not going to see too many people between now and tomorrow morning to when I finally get around to doing it, but we'll see. You know, I, I guess it'll depend on how long it takes me to upload everything and, and do all that stuff and whether I want to keep heading north for a little while to go take care of that or just come right back down here at the marina and set up shop for the night. Since it's already 10 o'clock now, I'll probably end up doing the latter and then finally get around to going to get that tomorrow morning. Although tonight would be a good time because it's cool. It's pretty, chi you know, it's not, it's getting a little chilly out now, which is nice because, again, don't have to worry about heating ourselves, you know, just leave some windows open and get a nice little breeze. Don't have to worry about overheating in the car or anything. And it's cool enough that I can leave Murder Dog in the car while I go take a shower. So it may actually, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, that's, uh, that's about it. So that's what we're up to. Like I said, did some more rearranging today. 
got uh got a bunch of stuff done and got a podcast in and uh hopefully anybody who doesn't you know anybody who's been following these uh my vlogs and stuff like that if you're not already uh subscribed or you don't already listen to my podcast you might want to check it out especially this this one that's going to come out tomorrow with anthony samaroff if you don't know anthony great guy and uh it was a lot of fun to talk to him so uh i'm looking forward to putting that one out and i uh, hope you guys enjoy it so with that i will sign off for the night and i will return tomorrow with the next installment in this indefinite vlog series that hopefully will continue as long as i'm out here and yeah like i said the other day if you don't hear him from me at some point check in because uh i'm trying to put out a lot of content but if all of a sudden i'm not putting out content something probably happened <laughs> but other than that we're all good and uh we'll catch you tomorrow peace y'all <laughs>